so I'm uh, Ted Norris, a, a professor in uh, electrical engineering, and I've been involved in the applied physics program for uh, for 17 years now. Um, and I'm director for the Center for Ultrafast Optical Science here on North Campus. As you may know, engineering uh, at Michigan is on North Campus. The uh, physics and uh, chemistry are are on Central Campus, and Applied Physics is really a program that very much ties those two programs, those two campuses together. Um, applied Physics, in my mind, is the application of physics style thinking to applied, uh, applied areas in science. And as such, it's a very highly collaborative um, uh, way of doing research. Uh, for example, let me give a few examples. The physics of semiconductors. Um, is a subject of fundamental interest, but also of great um, technological relevance, as many people in engineering are trying to make new kinds of devices, whether they be new uh, light emitters, new detectors, new transistors, uh, new nanotechnology-based uh, devices, and, and so forth. Um, another example is, uh, is optics, which is my own area of expertise, and looking at the, uh, the physics of, of light propagation and interactions with matter and applications to such things as, as biomedicine. Uh, so, so applied physics is a, um, is a way for people with a physics background to get into uh, engineering and, and, and more applied areas that are, that are relevant to uh, real world problems. And in fact, approximately half in, or slightly more than half of all applied physics students uh, do their coursework on Central Campus and, and come up and work with engineering faculty uh, on North Campus. Um, the way that usually works is you will start as a, uh, as a first year student taking introductory courses and in your second semester do a directed study project. And that directed study project is a way for you to get your feet wet in research and learn if you like a certain area, if you like working with a particular faculty member. And, uh, and that's usually done in the second semester of the first year. That usually evolves into a thesis uh, with the same advisor, but uh, there's actually no obligation, and, uh, and, and you're free to try, um, uh, try other advisors after, after doing your directed study. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about, uh, about optics. Um, many applied physics students have come through the program and uh, work in the area of optics. Uh, much optics is done on, on North Campus within the context of engineering. Uh, one of them is uh, ultrafast optics. We have the Center for Ultrafast Optical Science here, uh, which is home to the world's highest intensity laser. Behind me you see the target chamber for the so-called Hercules laser, where uh, world record intensities have been achieved using a laser that takes actually only a few tabletops in size. And the reason that can be done is the pulses can be made extremely short, and the shorter the pulse uh, you can make, then the higher the peak intensity that you can produce. This laser is produced 10 to the 22 watts per square centimeter on target, and, and, and that's a world record and is leading to all kinds of new uh, physics. So it's a, a really um, a, a classical example of, of applied physics in action. The, uh, the technology that goes into the laser, as well as the, uh, the fundamental applications in plasma physics and, and relativistic optics that occurs in the laser uh, target interactions. Um, much of my work is actually concerned with, with ultrafast optics as applied to optoelectronics. This can uh, include uh, terahertz generation and detection and imaging applications, uh, uh, interactions with uh, 3 5 semiconductors, uh, exciting new materials such as graphene, which is a, a single layer of carbon atoms, turns out to be very exciting for, um, uh, for both optics and, and electronic applications and the area of plasmonics, which is the, the physics of small metal uh, nanoparticles. And these are all active areas uh, of research, uh, not only in my own group, but in a number of other uh, research groups in, in electrical engineering and material science. And again, I would mention that applied physics is, is inherently a very interdisciplinary uh, subject, so you, you, you are certainly going to collaborate with, um, uh, with groups from, from, from across the campuses uh, at the university. Uh, finally, I would mention uh, uh, one more um, gr rapidly growing area in applied physics is uh, in, in uh, physics related to uh, biomedicine. Um, particularly, there is a, a, an active uh, center in the medical school for nanotechnology in the medical and biological sciences. And for students that are interested in either optics or electronic uh, uh, measurements, 
there are many uh, interesting physics problems that are related to uh, nanotechnology at, um, in, in fundamental biological science as well as in um, uh, medical applications. Um, one of the interesting things about and unique things about applied physics at Michigan is that it is a graduate program. It is not a department. There are uh, a number of applied physics departments around the country and they, they tend to be rather small and often focused in particular research areas. And one of the exciting things about applied physics as a program means that, uh, that when you come in and, and finish your coursework, that you have an enormous variety of programs from which to choose. And, and their interests range from, from, uh, from plasma physics and, 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 uh, and, and astrophysics to nanotechnology. And so you have this incredible array of programs, uh, research programs from which to choose. And you're not confined to uh, working with one of a particular, you know, five or ten faculty who may be in a small department. So although it is a program um, uh, without its, its, its own faculty per se, you have uh, just a huge um, array of resources to choose from. What do applied physics students do after they graduate from our program? Uh, the academic option is one, and a, a number of our, our former students are now in, in academic positions throughout the country. Uh, many of them have gone into uh, research positions at national laboratories or in the industry. And of course, uh, a very exciting option for many students is to pursue uh, spin-offs or pursue startups. Uh, the Center for Ultrafast Optical Science here has spun off five companies uh, over the years. Uh, and all of them are, are still around, and some of them have been highly successful. If you're interested in using your physics background as an in to a, an exciting new uh, commercial technology, then, uh, then Michigan is really a, a great place to be. My name is Roy Clark. I'm the founding director of the Applied Physics Program. And uh, we're here in a laboratory <coughs> on the north campus of the University of Michigan. And uh, this is one of the laboratories that uh, a lot of our students uh, have uh, an involvement in research. And uh, its uh, purpose is to uh, investigate new electronic materials using uh, one of the very big specialties of, of the university's uh, uh, capabilities in research and that is to use ultra-fast lasers for materials development to look into the improvement of solar energy materials and how to make those more efficient for, for the benefits of society. Uh, a lot of our projects uh, here at Michigan involve interdisciplinary teams of uh, researchers, graduate students and postdoctoral and groups of faculty working together. The University of Michigan's uh, program is, is unique in, in the sense that when it started, the uh, structure of research uh, in many universities, including this one, uh, was somewhat uh, viewed as, as a, a collection of individual efforts from different departments, and, and quite often people would get together and form research collaborations, but the unique thing that we did here is to involve graduate students in the training that uh, crosses the, the disciplinary lines and is truly uh, multidisciplinary in character. For example, in this lab we might have um, on one day uh, electrical engineers coming in to work with us, uh, with, with physicists and chemists and material scientists and uh, this kind of teamwork and interdisciplinary uh, activity and interdisciplinary structure is, is really necessary nowadays and so we've, we've kind of formalized that now into a graduate program that, that uh, provides this kind of training and it's very important for modern research to, to be able to do that. We're so